Okay, this is 2.3 examples one. So it, the first example says find the limits for f of x equal to x plus one and g of x equal to x squared. And so part A says the limit as x approaches two of f of x. And f of x is the expression x plus one. So they're asking me to find the limit of x plus 1 as x approaches 2. Now we can try direct substitution and direct substitution works because in this case we get just the limit equal to 3. Now part b says for me to find the limit of g of x as x approaches 3. And g of x is equivalent to the expression x squared. So then we can try direct substitution again. We get three squared, which equals nine. And that method worked here. For part C, we're doing the composition, okay? So we need to first rewrite this composition. So remember with parentheses, you work from the inside out. So I do have to write the expression for f of x first, which is x plus one. And then I'm going to plug this expression in 4x in the g function. So then the expression becomes here, um, g is x squared. So instead of having x squared, I'm going to have this expression squared. And then again, I can try direct substitution and I get um, 2 plus 1 squared which is 3 squared, which is 9. Now example 2 says find the limit of the function, write, in simple, write a simple function that agrees with the given function at all but one point. Now what it's referring to when it says a simple function that agrees with the given function at all but one point it's referring to holes in the graph. And holes in the graph occur when you have a fraction that can be reduced. And the factor that gets reduced is the factor that creates the hole, okay? So normally, uh, things that are in our denominator give us vertical asymptotes. However, if this denominator cancels with the factor in the numerator, then there is no longer an asymptote at x equal to three, but instead there is a hole at x equal to three. And the simplified answer has the same exact graph as this fraction. The only difference is, is that this fraction has a hole when x equals three, and the simplified version does not have a hole when x is equal to three, okay? So the idea here is that I want to simplify this and hopefully this denominator cancels, creating that hole in the graph and I can use a simpler function instead to do my direct substitution. Because if I try to do direct substitution now, I get three cubed minus 27 over three minus three, which is 27 minus 27 over zero. 0 over 0, and this is one of those indeterminate forms, indeterminate forms, which means this, using direct substitution does not allow me to decide whether or not this limit exists and or what it is, if it does exist. So we're going to go ahead and simplify. Now this is a difference of two perfect cubes, so I do need to remember my perfect cubes formula. This is the way I remember it. So I remember that whatever sign is here, the same sign goes in the first parentheses, then the opposite sign, and the last one is always plus. And then I remember whatever these bases are here, it's A and B, A times A, A times B, and then B times B. So for instance, I need to figure out what the A and the B are here. So what cubed gives me X cubed? A would have to equal X. And what cubed gives me 27? B would have to be three. So then when I factor it, 
I end up with a minus b, so x minus 3. Then I end up with a times a. Well, x times x is x squared. a times b, x times 3 is 3x. Three and b times b, 3 times 3 is 9. And then this factor and this factor reduce, and now I have a simpler um, function to find the limit of. So in WebAssign, it'll ask you what the limit is, and that I can now find by doing direct substitution. But it will also ask you for a simpler function that agrees with the given function at all but one point. Okay. So the limit here actually equals 9 plus 9 is 18 plus another 9 is 27. So that's one part of the answer. The other part of the answer is this other simpler function, which is x squared plus 3x plus 9. So this is the simpler function. So whatever you get after you reduced a factor, that becomes the simpler function. And that simpler function is the one that you're allowed to do direct substitution with.